Hello, this is Terrence King, and in this lesson I'll be teaching you how to extract your Pepicura files for 3D printing. Okay, First, you need a licensed copy of Pepicura Designer. The latest version is Pepicura Designer 3. In order to do this, you will need to open a Pepicura file. I don't have any on this computer to show you, but let's go ahead and open one of my 3D files. Pepicura can open file types OBJ, object files, or .stl files. Either one will work. The main difference between the two is that an OBJ file uh, will maintain a... the faces maintain either a quad vertice uh, faces or tri vertice faces. That means is that each face can be made up of either three or four vertices. So it's going to be either a triangle or a, I don't want to call it a square necessarily, but uh, you know it's going to have four points to that face. But an OBJ file will can extract with uh, tries and quads within it. But an STL file will convert all quads into tries. hope you're not confused there. So let's go ahead and import the .stl file. Uh, auto detection, that's fine. 300 vertices, 100 faces, and zero objects were deleted uh, for data normalization. That means that there was something wrong with the file and it had to correct itself. Okay, too many faces. Uh, all the too many faces means is just that it's going to be taking a very long time to assemble. So that's just a warning letting me know that I might not want to make this. Okay. Flip faces. Uh, flip faces is whether or not it, everything is facing inside or outside. Let's just say no flip. Alright, adjust the front. The front is actually going to be the yellow. Right there. Down. Uh, adjust the bottom. Down is facing down. No change. Invert model. Do I want it to uh, say if this arm was a different one and I want it on that side? Do I want to invert it? No invert. I might have too many things running on here at this moment. My file is actually way too large for Pepicure uh, to begin with anyways. Alright, a lot of the edges were merged. That's just saying that it uh, is mo removing a lot of detail to it. And uh, one of the reasons why that they were uh, merged is because if you look at on here, say this thigh, thigh has uh, good detail right here, these, all the red lines are edges. So in this file, that means that these had to be separated from these because the normals in them were facing the wrong direction. So I can edit that later inside Blender. So probably the first thing that I modeled on here besides the helmet was the shoulder. So that's got a lot of detail to it and I spent so much time on it that everything is pretty much right on that. So in order to extract your files from this. Oh yeah, uh, down here that that's a good example right there is the shins. All right, you might have seen my video for whenever I modeled the shins. Now that was only done with one reference image, so of course it's not going to be a hundred percent accurate. But this is only for instructional purposes. But if you look here, one of them is with the normals out and the other one's normals in. See where the white faces are? Faces are inside on this one, faces are outside on this one. Well, that is because instead of modeling two of them, I just copied it and inverted it, uh, scaled it in one direction. So the outside over here is inside over here. So in order to keep the inside the inside, I just scaled it in the negative direction and that flipped my normals and I can again I can fix that uh, before I 3d print anything so <clears throat> back to extracting this uh, before you can extract 
a Pepicura file, it needs to be unfolded. Well, you don't have to go through the painstaking process of an unfolding it yourself and and uh, trying to align it on the page. Just go up here and click the unfold button. It's going to do an automatic unfold. These are never pretty. They will never be printed out on one page separately. That's not going to auto arrange or anything. So here it is all on one page. Well that's because it is scaled way wrong. Uh, I'm not even going to go into scale on this because you don't even need to know about scale. Alright, after it's been unfolded, you need to go into File, Export, 3D Model. It's going to export it as an OBJ whether or not if it was uploaded as a OBJ or .stl. All right, registration key code is required for saving exported da exporting data. I've already got Pepicura Designer on another computer. Don't hardly ever use it anymore. I lost the key code for it, and it's uh, for this tutorial. I'm not actually gonna need to show you that I did export it, but that is how you export your files for 3D printing. Now let's go into modifying the 3D files that you just extracted.